Hi, my name's Hector. I'm 25 years old, based out of Orlando, Florida, and this is Financial Live. You, Mr. Hector, have a pile of things I have not seen in quite the time. You've gotten yourself into a mess. Um, for 25, man. I'm a little nervous. We'll jump into it. We'll get into it. First, I need to know what you do for a living. Um, I'm a server. Um, yeah, pretty much it. I've been serving for a decent bit now, going on two years, jumping around from place to place. You have a lot of student loans for someone who's a server. Yeah. Uh, the student loans are actually a pretty long story. So did, did you, Well, before you say the story, story, did you get a degree? No, it wasn't for a degree. I had got um, caught up in a situation where I signed up for a certificate program. Um, yeah. I don't really know if I should be like disclosing the school. There's like no lawsuits or anything like that. No. But um, a lot of things were promised. And this was when I was, I want to say anywhere from 19 to 21. Um, I kind of like bit into the dream and I went through the process. What was the I dream? went through the trial period. It was for right. cybersecurity. So it was um, a certification for cybersecurity? Yeah. yeah. And um, okay. we were told that we were going to get like a lot of things akin, akin to like a boot camp. So we were told oh, that we were going to yeah. get like practice tests and we were going to get like opportunities to take certificate tests and mm -hmm. it never came. Um, the school that I was with, we never really got access to mm. the lot. I, I want to say the school, but at the same time, I don't know. You like, can. It's up it, to you. It, was, it was with like UCF. I love the school. Um, I feel like in Florida, they uh, provide a lot for the community, but um, the course wasn't provided through UCF. It was provided from another like program yeah. and they just used UCF like as essentially like a headspace. Dude, one of my best friends here in Austin, no degree, certification in cybersecurity makes over a hundred a year. Yeah. And that was incredible. Uh, that was one of the things that we learned going through the program was like there's a lot of things that you can self teach yourself. And um sure. even like when it comes to like the course of boot camps, like the course itself started at um seventeen thousand dollars, I believe. And that was with a thousand dollar down payment, and then I've that's been, why that's why I talk about course yeah. careers, man. Course careers like a few hundred bucks. I don't they don't have cybersecurity yet, but um, yeah. they um, it, it's a predicament in which I've been on deferment for so long that I've just why are you been, on deferment? Because uh, I'm still going to school. Um, and still I, going to school. Yeah. When did you start going to school? It's been on and off since I was like 21. Oh, 21. Yeah. Okay. I've been so taking like two class, classes a semester. And um, I took two years off when why? I initially why? graduated. I don't know. I don't know if school is necessarily for me. Then I just, why are you doing it? If you are asking yourself, is school for me? That means we probably at least don't do it until yeah. we say the answer is yes. Yeah. Is school for me? For a lot of people, the answer is going to be yes. And that's absolutely fine. And there's right ways to go about it. Is school for me? You don't know the answer? Let's not go borrow total distributed amount, $17,000, which ballooned to $21,000. We don't go borrow that if we don't even know if we want to go to school. We don't take two classes a semester right now if we don't know if we want to be in school. Yeah. It's a situation in which I feel like not an identity crisis, but the idea of not knowing what I want to do for a profession. That's fair. Is has put me in a predicament where I'm grasping for straws. Have you taken a career quiz? Uh, a couple. A lot and? of them are like communications or like HR. I do enjoy speaking to people. It's just... I don't know. The idea of school itself hasn't been so it's ideal schooling. for me. It's yeah. not the career. It's to me, it's not even the fact of schooling. It's the link, the amount of time that it takes to get a yeah. degree. Like that's kind of what gets to me. And I actually, I'm enrolled in um, course careers for um, tech sales, but I personally yeah. don't feel like I'd be a good agent. And that could be that, something. As which, much as I love them, as much yeah. as I like that certain, well, I was I in tech sales yeah. and I made money. I made money in tech sales. It was great. It helped me get out of debt. I want you to do that. I want you to take advantage of that. Why pay for that if it's not what you even wanted? If it's not, if you're like, I'm not even going to be good at it. Why are you doing it? I see it as an option. It's, it's something, it's very impulsive. It's like, are you an impulsive person in general? Um, typically no, but I feel like there's certain aspects like my self evaluation of myself. A big problem is that like lack of direction. So when I feel something that could be an option for direction, I'm like, Gotta go option, with it. Option. Gotta go with it. Yeah, but there's like a billion options. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more narrowing down what makes sense for. Okay. 
So the direction of your life and what you want to do, that's something that's obviously going to have to be a big part of the conversation. Um, I'm sorry, how much did you say you make in your job? Um, I do about $3,000 a month. I I'm, After tips, after... Everything. Yeah, uh, so that's actually, I rounded, rounded out just what I'm taking home daily. It doesn't include what I get on my paycheck, but my paycheck is, is only $30 in, yeah, like a nothing. week. Yeah. yeah. So we'll call it $3,100. Including the paycheck. I am um, I'm part time, so I'm only scheduled two days a week. I have the opportunity to pick up. Um, two days a week. I have a lot of free time on my hands. The well, why? Um, just you know, you have like some of the most disgusting yeah, debt humanly I, possible. I know I need a second job. Oh, f you total distributed amount seventeen thousand. Current balance twenty seven thousand. It's gone up ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Why are you, before this, he told me he's been watching for a year. If you've been watching for a year, man, why are you still f around? Honestly, um, so a big part of it is I'm not making excuses. I know that I should have been doing it. Um, I just got out of like a, a long-term relationship and I feel like I was very complacent within the relationship mm -hmm. and, uh, it just wasn't something that was on my mind, like, and I was enjoying life, like, things day to day. And I already know where this is going. Like, oh, why enjoy life while having this debt when I could just, like, sacrifice two years to yeah, then dude. live the rest of my life. Temporary sacrifice for the rest of your life, man. Um, uh, I feel like once I kind of, like, left the relation, or, well, the relationship ended, it put me in a predicament where I was more acknowledge acknowledging my financial mistakes. And so while I was watching the episodes, I knew that, I needed to change things, but just complacency was there. Mm. You said this is on deferment. I want to take a brief moment to thank today's episode sponsor, Aura. When you get an unsolicited message, that's because your private information has been bought and sold. And unfortunately, that's done via data brokers who are making a fortune selling your private data on the web. These data brokers often sell your private information to scammers or various fishy websites. Here's where Aura can help you. Aura is able to keep your data safe by automatically scanning the web for your information and ensuring that it stays out of the hands of the wrong people. Data brokers are legally required to remove your information when asked, but they purposely make this difficult. Aura can handle all of this for you. Aura is continually monitoring the dark web for your email, passwords, and even your social security number, making sure that nobody has your information that isn't supposed to. Aura makes it super easy to keep your data safe by offering parental controls, a VPN, password protection, and even identity theft insurance all in one place at an affordable price. And if you sign up right now using my link, Aura will give you a two-week free trial allowing you to see where your personal data is exposed. Private information should remain private, so stop letting people profit off of yours and sign up for Aura at Aura.com forward slash Caleb or by using the link at the top of the description below. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this episode. Uh, it, I made my first payment actually today. today. Yeah, I was today, gonna say yeah. the date is today. Yeah, I made my first four hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. You're not in school right now. Um, I took this last semester off, and okay. the time. How were you paying for school? Financial aid. So this again, this is something separate to. To Finan college. when you say financial aid, does this mean uh federal student loans? No, no, no. Like they were covering oh, all of my goodness. schooling. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in community college doing like two classes a week. Yeah. Financial aid covers it. This is something completely different from like no, this is for the my cert, AA. Right? Yeah, it's for the certification. And like a big red flag that I probably should have followed was like the fact that financial aid didn't cover the course. Um, mm -hmm. I don't even know if it was accredited. I learned a lot going through like this whole experience, and it's, well, certifications they're a really good boost. To the resume mm -hmm. they're not necessarily going to be everything they might help you get your foot in the door but you're gonna have to show especially in those more tech field yeah, in the, the interview process the knowledge and the skills twenty seven thousand one hundred thirty one dollars at twelve point three seven percent interest and it's it's fixed yeah. you are beyond lucky that it, uh, was fixed. it was purposely put on a fix i had the option to go variable but fixed at 12 yeah. percent may have felt like death two years ago but with where it is and where i've seen some people's sally may loans these days okay yeah i i made now it fixed just 420 dollars a month mm -hmm. 420 dollars a month 
multiplied it by your 3,000, it's 14% of your money. 14% of your... And you're probably not claiming tip wages. Yeah, no. Yeah. Does anyone... I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone claims tip wages. Unless it's, like, forced upon them by the job. Yeah, I mean, I've also, like, people who are trying to buy, like, a house or something or, like, a car. But I know that that's not in my near future, so... No. Yeah. No. <laughs> not even comparable. Okay. There was one bright spot before we go down the deep abyss of death and insanity. You had a credit one balance, and credit one's, like, evil, terrible card, of which you've lost $97 in fees this year so far and $40 of interest. Mm. But you paid it off. Mm. This was the bright spot. This made me happy. All right, to the darkness. <laughs> we had a solid 15 seconds of joy and happiness and a halo around the top of my head and yours. Now the horns come out. We paid off a balance of a card, but we immediately put $438 on this card. It's not an excuse. I'm just going to tell you why it happened. I, after my breakup, I kind of like, I didn't spiral, but uh, the opportunity arose where like my best friends were like, hey, do you want to go to Puerto Rico? And I was like, you know what? I'll handle my debt when I come back. I 12% death private student loans. Let's go to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Um, I paid the balance off and I had all intentions to keep balance off. But what ended up happening was I, me and my ex were living together. And my insurance was based off that address. And because I couldn't provide proof of insurance, my insurance went from $220 to over $500. So insurance is back down to 200 and something dollars. But you moved back in with the fam, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah. I was paying like twelve fifty in rent and utilities prior. Yeah, you don't really have a choice. But now I'm paying like $200 in rent. And so utilities. on here is like 438 bucks still, right? No, it's 390 something. So four hundred dollars. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, four hundred dollars. Okay. <gasps> Fun fact: no more trips to Puerto Rico, man. Yeah, buddy, you can't even afford to live right now. Can't even afford to live right now. Puerto Rico is not. I'm sure Puerto Rico is great. I've never been. Maybe someday. Not when not having a fully funded emergency fund. Not when we're having nothing in retirement. Yeah. $35 minimum monthly payment. Oh, it's, I mean, the limit's at 500, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's at four. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Pretty high utilization. And of course, what were we doing? We we're getting some Mojito Licorio and yeah. a Mexican restaurant <laughs> and Mojito Licorio again, Church's Chicken, Airport Convenience and Cowboy Chicken. Very important stuff that are needed. For foundation point. core foundation core dot edu um so that's actually something that i also wanted uh well have to bring up it's i did it again it's a two thousand dollar med school court um course Wait, what the f are you doing uh, grasping for straws no you're mm. so um that's a zero in a med school course it's it's so it's provided through avent health avent health is like a, I think they have one here. Like they have a couple here. Advent, Advent Health. Um, oh, no, so it's a really big private hospital in uh, Florida, in Central Florida, and they provide schooling. Um, since I don't work for them, schooling for what though? Um, what does it accomplish? It's an EKG monitor course. Um, it's zero oh, okay. percent interest. I do owe seventeen fifty. Um, it's zero percent interest, and it's going to be a hundred dollars a month starting ninety days after January first. That also causes me a bit of dilemma. How much is O total again? Uh, seventeen fifty. Okay. Oh, okay. You're just you're just sending me down a road of emotions, so I, I don't want to. <laughs> sure, that's zero percent finance, but then you also did like your two hundred fifty dollar minimum down payment. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. So it was a down payment on a credit card that yeah. has a twenty seven point two four percent interest rate. Fees and interest is zero so far, of course. Wally World got a card for it. Capital One Walmart. Why do you have a Walmart card, my friend? <laughs> so <laughs> this card was opened um, as well as the Saver One card, which I'm sure is going to come up either next or after the next one, is um, 
this one specifically I had to open because I didn't have an emergency fund. I got into an accident mm. and um, it was considered like cosmetic damage. Um, so mm. I, I'm i technically at fault because I was changing lanes. And um, when was this? Uh, like it was a while ago, like almost a year ago, okay. maybe actually a little bit over a year. Not having an emergency fund is, is an emergency. An emergency. Yeah. Um, so I opened this card and um, I had to pull out um, essentially like taking out cash like a cash advance. Um, and I just haven't, I've been distracted and not really focusing on paying it off, but that's the only reason why the card exists. Um, aside from that, the same thing on the saver one card is just that the reason why the, the balance is so high on the saver one card is because I then had to fix my brakes, which was another thousand dollars because it was so bad. My rotors were grinding down. Yeah. Yeah. We did the minimum monthly payment. $31 of interest was accrued. The balance only decreased by $11. Yeah. That's also something that I just recently noticed because I haven't been. That you're just not making progress because yeah. it's at 31.99% interest. $78 of fees this year so far and $314.20 of interest. Okay. Save your, save your card. Mm-hmm. That's the one that I was just talking about with the whole breaks and the cash advance on the accident. I'll tell you what's not an accident. Hitting that subscribe button because we're trying to get to a million subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you for subscribing no, for not. a year now. And thanks for My putting your pleasure. situation on display. Because other people are going to relate to it. There's other people that are like, I don't know what to do in life right now. And they're taking out debt getting because they don't have an emergency fund. And the cars all the time and you need a car and then our car driven infrastructure so it's just like i appreciate you for that hopefully we get you to a better situation but until then 2783 on this card with an 85 dollar minimum monthly payment 58 dollars and a cent of interest accrued in just the last month alone only making the minimum monthly payment of course the balance decreased by only like 30 bucks even though you made an 88 dollar payment Interest, 24.99, $595 of interest accrued this year so far. And it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. It is what it is. You did it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here was a card that was uh, basically paid off, and then you put 69 bucks on it. Now, it's I'm assuming uh, this is paid, paid off. off. Yeah. Good, but... Uh, again, why are we going and getting liquor for 70 bucks when we have... Two credit cards we can't pay off. Actually, three credit cards we can't pay off now. Financing a medical program that we're trying to do for something you probably don't even want to do and we're not going to do and you have no interest in doing. I don't even know because who knows. And private student loans at 12 point death percent interest rate at $27,131, which is 12% of your take. Well, not even take home. Your pre. Yeah, but you're not paying your taxes. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm actually W two. The taxes do come out of my my paycheck. You just don't, but you don't claim. No, oh, well, cash. I mean. Yeah, so it gets taken out of your, you know, three dollar an hour or whatever it is. It's actually eight dollars an hour. Eight dollars an hour mm -hmm. is yeah. wow. Yeah, that's the, only the reason, reason it's so little is because you work two yeah. days a week. Mm -hmm. Hundred and two dollars in interest this year so far, and fifty dollars of fees. We have all this debt. We're not going to the liquor store every second of our life. And by the way, two statements now, three liquor store trips within a month. I, I want to go ahead and preface by saying I'm not an alcoholic, nor do I drink a lot. It's just that You're I was suggesting the, the month of October, I did go to a lot of events. And with that being said, I didn't want to show up empty handed. It's not it's it's not an excuse. Yeah, you should show up to events without debt is what I say. Yeah. Or else we're probably not going to the event, so we're going to work. Instead of working two days a week, we're working seven. Now, you just take out these insane interest rate loans at stores. like So I'm guessing this is a firm or something. Um, Yeah, so uh, it is a firm. The one from Best Buy is yeah. um the, the larger balance one. Um, During the end of my relationship, I kind of was like realizing what uh, a couple of like my wrongdoings I had bought. A TV. Is that what this is? Yeah. And, um, a TV at 35.98% interest. Yeah. Must be a great TV. It's a Sony. It's pretty nice. Sony what? I don't... I couldn't tell you the exact... Is it OLED? Uh, I believe so, yeah. It's... um. Uh, it, it was just like 
it was impulse like my ex wanted it yeah, and, I, yeah, and i was yeah. like you know what so then you finance it at 35.98 percent yeah <laughs> with a 102 dollar minimum monthly payment lovely you've paid 392 at this point 225 remaining with payments of it's uh 75, 75 bucks yeah. Living your month, live, living your life, minimum payment to minimum payment. It's the American way. You're living the average American. I'm, I'm making sure I dig in on your situation just so you know for the true first time in your life how actually bad and devastating and how much this is holding you back because I want you to succeed so bad. Yeah. You, know how, you know how cool it is whenever I get updates in uh, the private Discord from guests or emails when they're making progress? That means people have come here. Sat at my table, had a conversation with me, and they've improved their life. You know how awesome that is? It's insane. First, we need I need you to know just how bad this is. What kind of situation when you got yourself in? This is, if you watch Kitchen Nightmares, this is the point where I'm going in and I'm smelling the old moldy food and I'm throwing up. I'm throwing up at your debt right now. Yeah. Let's get you to the better spot. Love you, Gordon Ramsay. Let's collaborate. We oh, do love you. Gordon Ramsay. No, no way he knows what this show is, but <laughs> I do love you. Mr. Gordon. Master Chef is my show, but okay. And then an Amazon Amazon firm or something? Uh yeah. I, um, it was nothing, dude. It was like a hundred dollars. Oh, so this this was for honestly me getting this affirmed was like I think I had like rent coming up when I lived with my ex and I bought You have parcel. rent coming up and you can't afford rent. Do no, you no, then no. go buy this? I could afford rent. I couldn't afford rent and the bar. Store. Exactly. So do you go buy this? No. Sorry. Sorry. That just kills me. That just logically like I felt a f-ing worm in my brain nibble on me. A worm of stupidity from that kind of thought. I know you recognize this dumb now, so I don't have to dig into yeah. you as much, but whoa. That one, because I know there's people out there who still think that right now. People have been on the show. You bought stool benches? Uh, It was bar stools. It was a pair of two bar stools. It was honestly, I'd purchase it again. I wouldn't affirm it, obviously, because once those affirmers are gone, there's... Yeah, necessary to survival, isn't it? $47 remaining. Okay. $7. Oh, Oh, it's a $15.95. Mm-hmm. Their monthly payment. Okay. It's a lot of debts. Now, this was insane. Okay, so the EKG, we already went through that. Mm-hmm. You borrowed from your grandpa? Yeah. Um, I'm sure that, I, I'm, I mean, I don't think he cares about the fact no, that. No, because he I probably loves the f- yeah. out of you, but, like, even um, still, though. Shout out my grandpa. He's the best. Sure. Um, I... Th- the whole owing the money to my grandfather is like a thing of like me personally. I just want to make sure that he gets that money back. Um, oh, f- yeah. yeah well, I, how old's your grandpa? Um, mid sixties. Okay. Yeah. Young grandpa. Yeah. Um, Very young grandpa. Yeah. My parents are young. My grandparents are pretty young for what grandparents are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, he never. He's never once. What was it for? When it was it? Uh, it was for the down payment on my car. So that like that's literally the only. You know what? You know what's interesting. Before I got my together, I borrowed a similar amount from my grandparents. Really? My grandparents for a down payment on a car. Yeah. My car is very similar. Paid off. Um, the only thing that I did have help with was the 15. Uh, it was 2000 initially. I've given him $500 since then. Actually, this is this is kind of exciting. I didn't, the, the affirm stuff wasn't around when I was going through messes. So trust me, I would have been in a worse mess if it was. But pretty similar. Um, I had Sally Mae private student loans, which is you have it. Yeah. And she's a uh, I, yeah, and I I borrowed from my grandparents for down payment on a car. I had a few uh, credit cards that were close to max out. Our situations were very similar. Uh, mine was slightly worse technically because I just had more debt itself. But man, I got out of it. I turned my life around well before YouTube. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. and well before I made a good amount of money. You can too. You can too. And this that's actually just that clicked in my brain. It's like. I will say that I am very hopeful. Like, I do think that, uh, um, I don't know. It's just a position of like the idea of who I want to be as an adult. Um, I feel like my finances are currently playing like a big role in like me not being that person. Mm -hmm. And I understand like everyone's a work in progress, but I do. But this last year, you haven't really changed anything. Yeah. Or maybe you haven't. It was worse before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say this, like 
my breakup was a big part of the self evaluation, yeah. and that happened like two months ago. So two months ago, yeah. I, I'm I'm not sitting here saying like like this. Who past broke up year. with who? Um, she broke up with me, but I kind of understand. Like, it yeah, was mutual. but that 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 always... we were we were both very complacent. But like, it feels worse. Eh, yeah, it feels worse. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh. it do, but it do. Um, I do feel like that's also like played a big part of like my mental in terms of like going out and doing sure. things and like now I feel like it's not like FOMO but like the idea of like wanting to go hang out with my friends and like wanting to go like to parties or like wanting to go just like hang out in general it's yeah. like it's time to hang out in the restaurant and make money and pay off the debt so you can yeah. live an amazing life yeah and who knows maybe some cute patron will leave you their um, number I'm not worried about it they might leave you their number though, and then, and then I feel like I'm okay with being single for a little while. I got a lot of stuff that's true. To work on. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. How long was the relationship? Three years, almost three. Years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll need a, you'll need a more. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. Two hundred ninety five bucks in checking account. It's a little scary. You sell out money like nobody's okay. Business. Um, so is that to the ex? Yeah. Um, I it's a long story. My sister's dog attacked my mom's dog over food it has nothing to do with me okay um so my parents aren't financially sound i love them they're great people when it comes to finances they're not necessarily the best no, um most aren't. no emergency fund States. yeah no emergency fund um one of the dogs the dog who got attacked his eye was hanging out and <gasps> oh, my fuck. ex went to the vet with my mom mm -hmm. and um my ex was way better with finances than i was um I can't speak for her position, but I know she's more financially savvy than I was. And she went with my mom to the vet and I was current, I was at work at the time. And so because there was no emergency fund, the vets told my mom that if she couldn't get the funds together that night, they were going to put him down. So they, Oh my God. So my ex paid for it. Um, my mom was taking a really long time to pay her back. Um, and my ex never like pushed her forward. I like financing options. I'm just surprised they didn't have a financing. Um, option there. my mom didn't, uh, get approved for the financing options due to her bad finances. Like it, it was wow. like stuff that yeah. still needed credit approval. And um, so essentially like when me and my ex broke up, I told my ex that I wasn't going to like force my mom to pay her back. So I took on the responsibility of the debt. Um, so that was a combination of that. And um, I had went to New York in the beginning of June. Um, it was for my uh, cousin, sweet 16. And that what? I gave her like, like I um I had still old her a little I bit. I thought you were gonna say that. wedding. I would have been like, no, 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 no. <gasps> Sweet sixteen. Who gives a closest cousin? That's awesome. Maybe don't have debt, then you can buy our pony someday. Yeah, but oh. yeah, that's that's what the Zell is. And then um aside from that, all of the Zell transfers, um I use Wells Fargo because um Capital One doesn't have the best. ATM system or kind of like a non-existent ATM system because they're an online bank. So essentially what I do is I get paid in cash nightly. Um, and then I immediately go to the bank and I deposit that money and then sell it to myself. So that's the only reason why there's so many. I, I know you're not going to highlight them because they're coming in, not going out, but that's yes. the only reason why Zell comes up so much. Gotcha. There should only be like a couple Zells going out. Well, there's quite a few. So that makes sense. And I respect you paying that off. That that was the right thing to do. That was the right thing to do. Not the right thing to do. Taquitos, McDonald's. We have Apple Bills up like crazy. Then mm -hmm. Taquitos and Apple Bills and Amazon and Karna and Affirm. Studio Movie GR. Castillo Tours for $138. Probably can't afford that tour, whatever the f*** that tour is. Some potential taquitos and seafood and movie house. I, uh, or, or Studio Movie, sorry. That mm -hmm. was, I mean, that's... Thirty-seven dollars. That should go towards Sally Mae. Apple Bill. Apple Bill. Affirm. Kitty Osha's Irish Pub. Sea World. Don't need to be doing Sea World when Sally Mae is there. French Wine Kiosk. Tutto Italia. Zelling out money. Regal Eagle Bar. Spice Road uh, Bar Lake. Glas Porzella Lake Buena. Mexico Pavilion. Joy of TT. Pizza Hut. Affirm, affirm, Hulu, Zumez, Zelling Out Money, Hollister, Hollister, Express, Popeyes. I bet you had clothes. Did you have clothes? Did clothes exist? The clothes existed. Okay. Uh, see, not nice clothes. Well, se. I don't give a um, about that. That's Hollister. It's not nice clothes anyway. I'm not going to say that this was a unique month because. Well, you need to look like a little twink 10 years ago. For one, I'm, this is all for the, the Puerto Rico trip. And it like 
I find a way to spend spend money. This was just the way yeah, to spend money. Yeah, uh, yeah, you do. All of this stuff was for the Puerto Rico. Got a shirt. super tight shirt, and then you went to Popeyes so that it wouldn't fit. H and M, taquitos, American Eagle outfit, Zell, Zell, Asian Chow, some pass retail, Chick Fil A. Uh, the pass Roku. is um, that's tolls. Okay, yeah, so that's expensive. Roku. I um, can't speak for everywhere. If I you lived say, in Austin, I would say you didn't need to take No, uh, so I can tell you straight up that the commute to my job would be, um, it would be twice as long without, like you're talking okay. about the difference between 30 minutes to but an you, hour and 15 minutes commute if I didn't take the toll road. Normally I would say, oh, okay, but you probably could also just wake up. Earlier, right. yeah, I mean, you I could. could. I mean, I, it's, I, I fifty dollars doesn't make or break, but it's all this added together, and you're spending money, and money's just going other places because you're not sacrificing, because you're not actually taking care of the debt that is holding you back. Oh, okay. So I see the Zells now. Those are all Zells in which we were in Puerto Rico, and I was zelling somebody my portion of like dinner or something like. So it's more eating now. Okay. So yeah. Zell, Zell, yeah. Asian, the past thing, Chick Fil A, Roku, Champs. Because let me guess, you did not have shoes. Uh, I didn't have sandals, and we went to the beach. I went with Vans and only Vans. Sandals? Uh, they were Crocs. Really nice Crocs. This is where I go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really this is where nice I go Crocs. to Amazon and get me a $10 sandals. My friend actually bought ten, like $5 sandals from Walmart right there you prior go. to that. La Burger Vista. Terrible burgers. Uh, mini donuts. And there's good. more tolls. Dude, that's a hundred bucks now. Yeah. Zelling out. So eating out, zelling out, eating out, zelling out, eating out, zelling out, eating out, getting some pizza, zelling out, eating out. Uh, what are you, the amount of money you're spending is insane. Also, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I never really realized how much I was going out until you're reading the statements. Yeah, statement. that's how it typically works. And that's why I do like it. I'm going that's out why that I much. do it. It's not necessarily the most entertaining part of the episode, but it's a very important to do. It's very important to do. You're, you're going crazy with your spending. Your miscellaneous taquito bull spending, 20% of your spending. 20% of your spending. Do you also believe this? Also, uh, bull food going out to eat, an additional 23%. So now we're talking 45%. 45% of your spending went to bull, bull Minimum 45%. Unknown shopping. This is, We don't know if it's bull or not. It's Walmart. It's Amazon. You don't know. It's probably bull the way you do um, it. But. I'm going to go ahead and chalk it up. Go ahead. Bull. Yeah, no, because. Yeah, okay. uh, so now 55%. 55% total. Lovely. Yeah, we could call Other it Other large purchases. Let's see. Oh, there's Zelled out. And we know the Zell out. Other than the thing you should have done, which is great. Mm -hmm. All the Zell out we're eating out to eat. So I'll uh, say the majority of that was paying back mom. Uh, paying back uh, ex-girlfriend for mom. Yeah. I'm going to round it off to 60 then. 60% 60 went to bullshit. Bullshit. 60%. How much went in debt? 11%. 60% to bullshit. 11% to debt. That's choices, man. Yeah. That's you saying you're now... In me existing, getting that little reward, the dopamine hits is much more important in this exact moment than taking a temporary sacrifice, as you even said at the beginning, for decades, decades, and decades of your life you have left that could be so much better. It's you choosing that. You're choosing that right now, man. You have control. You can live a better life. It just comes down to your discipline. And of the money that came in, you're lucky. You're lucky. Another reason you can afford things, you got your tax refund of 1400 Yeah. Because someone doesn't claim his money. No, no, no. That's not why. It was because I didn't get a stimulus check. So that's no, why No, but that number would in. not be that if you're... Um, no, uh, my stimulus brought in $1,200. It, it would, probably would have been a, no, a no, little... No. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. I would have paid way more in taxes because I would have been claiming my well, cash. Actually, the so. refund may have been the same because it would have been taken... Uh, well... Well, it depends. I would have you, been paid you, out less. Yes, exactly. I, un, I understand that, but I wouldn't have had to like pay back taxes. These are very important rules. If you want to live a good life and you just don't want to be a f these are the good rules. You need an emergency fund. Rule number two, you're breaking that. Does that fit in the budget? No, 60% was bullshit. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. So we're breaking number one. And number two, don't hold the credit card balance. Breaking number three. I actually brought my credit card to cut up. To chop? Mm -hmm. Good. Do you have a car? Uh, I do my you have a car off. loan. Good, good. You're not breaking rule number four. Um, I will say though, um, live someplace you can actually afford. You're living with family. You're doing yeah. good with that. Stop 
around with work. Rule number six. You are fucking around with work. Very rule number so. six. This is a very important rule for him. That's why we have this rule book. You can get it in the description below. You're fucking around with work, dude. You're working two hours a week. Two hours a week at a job that is not making you as much as you could make because you just keep bailing on everything you try to do and you just don't focus up on what you want to do. You take these different programs, you sign up for everything. You're fucking with work. To speak on like the work position. Speak on um, it. I... The reason why my work predicament is what it is is because I make a decent amount of money. Like I'm bringing in three thousand dollars a month on three days a week of work. Um, I get yeah. scheduled two days, but I try to pick up anywhere from two to three extra shifts. And if you can't, you get another job as well. But um, we just recently went through slow season, so like I pulled in almost. How was that slow season? Winter's not slow season. Uh, no, we're coming out of slow season. So like. So the, summer's slow season. No, uh, September. Like when kids August, late uh, August to like. Mid October is the slow season for restaurants everywhere, not just where I work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because parents are going back, or parents are are like sorry, less uh, likely to spend money. My, the the, the I'm sorry, just interruption. The context is because I know where you work. We're not going to say it, uh, but I mean that's why. Yeah, I was, no, that's no, why no. I was so confused. But it's in the like moment. the the restaurant industry. I mean that specific. It's place, a special place. Yes, yeah. it's but it does have downtimes. Yeah. I still make decent money for restaurants because of where I work, but the restaurant industry as a whole slows down drastically yeah. from like mid August to mid October. How is that place in the winter though? Um, is it going to pick up? It's brand new. So um, oh, it, oh, it should oh, because oh, it's, it's okay. very, it's, it's very unique in what Rule it is. Number seven school can be cool. This is just, you got to do it right, man. And mm -hmm. you've not been doing it right. You've been signing up for every program. You're the first one to break rule number seven since we've created this. Really? Yeah, because you're just doing everything and everything. You're taking every certification. You're doing everything. You're borrowing Sally May all this around. It can be cool. You're doing it wrong. So you're breaking what? Five, six rules out of the how to not be a f list? Why not? Well, yeah. Yeah, retirement is retirement. Cancel your subscriptions. I didn't see a ton of them, but that's rule number 10. Uh, I do have a couple. Well, not anymore. Heard. All this debt. See this? Mm -hmm. No more. Oh, that did not work. No more. None of that spending. We could have just <laughs> pretended it did, but... <laughs> but the, yeah. Okay. Okay. I get the symbolism. We can make the budget. We can do all this, and I want to. It doesn't matter if you don't stop around, mm -hmm. if you actually take control. Are you going to, even though you've been watching this content for a year and that's what last month looked like, are you going to actually, for the first time in your life, actually give a sh and actually take control and not end up towards the f up list? Yeah. A hundred, I, I can say that with 100% confidence. And, and like also like to preface like the whole me watching the show thing, um, I've been watching the show for a long time. And the me watching the show was not the thing that like made me say, oh yeah, let me fix my situation. It was the more recent stuff and the breakup. Uh, yeah, in general, um, I was knowledgeable about my pred predicament being bad. I wasn't, um, not necessarily driven, but focused on it. Mm. Um, I do feel like I said earlier, like there's a certain interpretation of who I want to be as a person. And Tell me. So I want to be reliable. Like I want to be someone that like can be counted on. I want to be somebody who um not only looks like they have their together but like has their together like i don't want to be a typical person that's like like for instance i love them great people again like my parents like mm. they're not the most financially sound um and i want to be somebody that people can come to for advice or like information or like lead as an example to say all right this is what or like what i should be doing essentially well i do want to say i mean you made a step towards that uh paying back your girlfriend who helped make sure that that dog wasn't put down that night that was that was a big step that's a responsible it shows you're responsible it shows that you know you have the maturity inside of you so we just need to harness that energy. yeah um i will say like i think it's definitely been like a discipline thing uh, yeah. a combination of things like i know it's a lack of discipline it's a lack of like it, a big thing is like fomo like i hate missing out on stuff yeah. and then like going to work and then like i said i work two days a week a lot happens within you know those it's five a days. big fomo though i'll tell you this edging towards 60 everyone else yeah, is retiring around you and you're walmart, dying at yeah. walmart and dying on the floor mm -hmm. that'll be a pretty big fomo everyone else is going on their retirement vacations driving topless corvettes sure and, you know, maybe the people they're driving with is topless, too. Maybe it's just an amazing day. Maybe retirement's fantastic. Yeah. Can't wait. But. I actually say that, too. 
I mean, I know my retirement's not looking too hot, but well, actually, I didn't have a statement for it. What's in retirement? There's no retirement, but I'm well, saying like, <laughs> yeah, that's not too hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Okay, if you're gonna use a card, man, use the Fizz card. Mm-hmm. I, I even extra say that for you because the benefits are geared towards college students. I just like them and I like partnering with them because yeah. I know everyone on the show. You want to use credit cards, you want to build credit. So at least take advantage of that. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I'm probably not even going to do that. Just because I feel like... Hey, you do you. Like, I feel like my credit isn't going to help me with anything particularly right, right, right now. But that's You're what I'm right, saying. You're like, right, right now. Right now, I, I feel like I'm more worried about the debt as opposed to me fixing my credit. Oh, I was just going to capture your rent, but you don't have rent. Do you give your family anything? Month, yeah. Okay. And then you that's, don't add anything to utilities or anything no, either? It's, it's just flat, flat. $200. Good. Though. That's going to save you. Yeah. It's going to save you. My goodness. How does the grocery and food situation and uh, preparing meals work at the home? Um, my mother cooks dinner, and I do have the option to eat it. But typically, uh, I've been like trying to like lose weight and like get into shape, so I've been like cooking it, for they're myself. They're unhealthy meals. Um, a lot of fried stuff because I'm Puerto Rican, and Puerto Ricans eat a lot of fried food. So, uh, um, sure. balancing the health, balancing it with the food. Okay, uh, so can we say two hundred dollars a month on groceries? where that gives you the food options to cook when something is unhealthy and then eat what is prepared and healthy when she makes that. Um, also, portion control helps as well, but I know it's not uh, as I've, easy as that. I've kind of, like, been meal prepping in a way. So, like... Okay, 300. I'll give you the traditional 300 that we have proven works for a single individual. Yeah, and then I'll go ahead and promise that if there's any excess balance, I'll put it towards my debt. Damn right. Toilet paper, anything to keep you alive, getting you 50? Um, I do buy all of my toiletries. This is everything you need for yeah, okay, surviving. Yeah, like, I'm giving you 50, though. Okay. I'll give you 75. Okay. Gas. That's steep. Um, well, it, honestly, it's not that bad. Um, gas was really expensive in Florida at some point in time, but now it's starting to go back down. Um, I'll go ahead and say... So I do like forty dollars a week. Oh, yeah. So like one sixty. Well, that's not. I mean, it'd be one twenty, but. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um. No, how forty dollars a week? There's four weeks in a month. It'd be one sixty. I'm the dumb one. Public math is hard. On the spot. You are right. Okay, so 160 for that. Car insurance? 220. I don't know if it's 220 or 228. I just recently switched I'll car insurance. 228, but yee. Yeah, I was with... 100 for tolls? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. We'll see if that fits in. I know it's, that it's, it's, it's probably it's would still be like... I've, I don't I've know, been, you're going to have to do the math. Yeah, I've been told... Well, the thing is that I've been told math-wise it makes more sense to like take the toll... Maybe, it, but I've, I've never, I've never fact checked myself, so it I probably where should. Depends prices yeah. are. I mean, mm-hmm. you're also putting mileage on your car, maintenance. I mean, you never know. Um, okay, and phone bill. Uh, one, I want to say one fifty. You pay for it, right? Yeah, yeah. How's health insurance right now? Non-existent. Are your parents on health insurance? I couldn't tell you. Well. This would have been your last year to be on there. Yeah, no, no, no. I was on my uh, dad's insurance. I might honestly still be. I don't know if it gets cut off at 25 or if it's like... I think it's 26 if I'm not mistaken. No, it's definitely 25. Is it 25? Yeah, I I actually had a predicament in which I didn't have to go to the doctor, but I chose to go to the doctor because I was in my last year of insurance and they told me it was 25. I just don't know if it's like cut off at the year of 25 or like right before the year of 25 because I was still 24. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I do have, like, some basic care through my job. So, like, I do get free therapy. Um, Good. But in terms of, like, getting a physical and, like, all of that stuff. Well, are you on any medication? No. Okay. So, I don't need to put anything in for no. medical? Mm-mm. Okay. No. Um, I'd like to think, knock on wood, that I'm pretty healthy. Sure. No, no subscriptions. Okay. Any I do have some subscriptions. No, no, no. Not oh, in the budget. Not yeah. in your budget. Absolutely no, 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 but not. I'm, I'm saying, like, currently I do have... Yeah, they'll be canceled. I'm not gonna. I, I I'm just. I'm checking that. I might. I'm probably just. No, I, uh, I, I'm probably just brain. No, it is 26. It's when you turn 26. That's when you fall in off. The state of Florida. Uh, no, nationwide. Oh, it's really? the national law when they pass the so ACA. I, I guess I probably do still have insurance for another 
half a year. Okay. Even still, man, I'd recommend it. Um, it's going to be hard. Um, it, you know, you might be on the exchanges at your My income. ex is doing like public insurance and yeah, uh, I mean, she makes a similar wage to what I do. And well, she let's get you to make more money amount, and figure yeah. out a career path. That's what I want. Let's get you oh, in a place that offers a benefit. So, um, I was going to ask you because I did have full intentions to go through this EKG course and I did want to get like, you already paid for it better. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to complete it. But in terms of like getting a job, yeah. the starting pay is like $15 an hour. And then like the max pay is like 18. How many hours though? Don't you get the, can't you, don't, can't you work like 80 hours a week? I'm hoping it'd be a full-time job. Um, currently like, so for instance, me going through the slow season, I've only really been able to work two to three shifts, um, a week, which has put me at. A little bit below three thousand, but when it's busy, I'm at an opportunity to make an expert like a crazy amount more. So, like for instance, um, I was making uh four thousand dollars a month, um, doing like in in the summers, and that was me working three to four instead of two to three. I mean, Coming into the winter, I should be able to work four to five. I mean. Just do whatever makes mathematical sense, but also think of the career path that you'll want to go on. Medical, you can typically work as Yeah, but okay, so bucks for, for preference, my friend makes um, a similar wage to what I'd be making in the EKG course, mm -hmm. and I make more than what he makes currently working at the hospital. Okay, there you go. If, this, if that's not in the career path you want to go down, then... Yeah. If, I mean, why? it's just, it's really hard. I Trust me, I want to work. I It's really hard to get full-time where I work. Um, no, that's fine. So we get a second a part second time. Job, yeah. Okay. Anything else in your budget that I'm missing? We have rent, food, rent, food, toiletries, uh, toiletries and gas tolls. Yep, gas tolls, car insurance, phone. Off the top of my head. Okay. I well, I got to get so. your debt minimum monthly payments, obviously. <sighs> I'm going to put the hundred in because that's going to start in a second for the yeah, in a couple plan. months. Yep. Yeah, so we may as well put that in for simplicity's sake. A couple months goes by quick. Yeah, no surprise. Your biggest holder of your budget is your debt at $774 a month, which is wild. So you should have an extra $1,000 left over, man. It should be a bit more than that. What do you have my budget at? One thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. No, that's not right. I make. Uh, let's see, seven seven four. Which oh, whoa, 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 whoa! You said how much do you have me making a month? Three thousand. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're right. You made me delete that. I'm sorry. Before I could write it down. I'm sorry. So my minimum debt payments are almost eight hundred dollars. Almost. So you need in order to survive one thousand eight hundred one thousand nine hundred. 87. You live with your, with your family, so I'm going to take a more risky avenue. Instead of doing the, the one-month emergency fund like we normally do, you live with family. You, yeah. have a, you have a backdrop. If you need to eat, you can eat their food. Yeah. They're not going to let you die on the street. I have a, you no, know. they're very accommodating. Oh, Grandpa. I forgot about Grandpa. How much is Grandpa? Uh, 1500 Are there like minimum payments, or is it just payback? He, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he's totally forgot about it. But you haven't. No, never could I ever. According to the survey I ran, 33% of you are not investing. So I don't know if you just want me to yell at you or if you're genuinely unsure of how to get started. Either way, you need to know about the brokerage app that I personally use for my single stock picks. And that's Moomoo, a brokerage platform that makes it super easy to go from a total beginner to a well-informed investor. Similar to basic brokerage apps, Moomoo has a super user-friendly platform that can be accessed either from your phone or on a desktop. However, unlike most platforms, Moomoo provides you with a much more in-depth look into international stocks, bonds, ETFs, and more. And speaking of ETFs, I love how easy they make it to research all of the different ETFs that are available on their platform, which, in my opinion, makes it much safer and more simple to invest my money. And whether you're a complete beginner or are just hoping to take the next step in your investing journey, Moomoo has free classes for you. They have things like how to read an earnings report and a lot of other lessons that are designed to help you learn the valuable lessons that most go to college for. And to help you get started, Moomoo's offering my audience a welcome bonus of 15 free stocks when you make your first deposit with the link below. I did many months of testing of this app to see if it's something I actually wanted to recommend to you all and I can honestly say that I love their analysis, their education, and I use them for my single stock pick. So check it out. It's pretty cool.
Okay. So with that, then we're immediately going to start throwing this two thousand or one thousand. We're just going to say a thousand for the sake of ease. On to the debts. Starting now, first month, uh, the end of this month, actually, since you'll have like seven hundred and fifty bucks left, you're killing Discover and you're killing Best Buy. Um, it's a question. It's not like me fighting you on it because I'll do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I was gonna wait to pay the affirms. Um, last like why? Because they're the highest interest. They're the and highest interest. The lowest balance, so you may as well kill them. Because I looked at how much I saved. It's literally like a couple dollars. Yeah, I don't care though. It goes with the avalanche and snowball method at the same time, yeah. so you may as well kill it. It was just a thing of, in my head of like the. It, it, not even about that. You're right. Okay, you're right. Because you're only it's only getting a couple of dollars of interest, right? Because well, because, no. Is no it, ah, okay, I'm sorry. Ah! Ah. And you're killing the Amazon. The reason you do them is because we're freeing up minimum monthly payments right now. You free up the minimum monthly payments, you're able to just start throwing that into the other debts. Okay. What were you going to say? No, I was. I, what I said is just, so like I think I saved like seven bucks if I pay off the Amazon Affirm, and then I think I saved like 30 bucks if I pay off the, and that's without the payments that I've just okay. made. We're freeing up minimum monthly payment, and we're taking I care of 35% that. death insanity interest rate. Okay. Amazon Best Buy Discovery paid off by the end of this month. This month. This month. Paid off. Not a question. So affirm and discovery. Yep. Okay. Cool. Next month. Walmart. Capital One. Dead. And $500. Uh, wait. Uh, 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 mm, no, we're going to save grandpa to the end. $500 will be thrown towards. N- ah, Wouldn't it be the saver one? Maybe. Medical school is next and snowball, but that doesn't necessarily make sense. It doesn't have any interest. I know. When does interest accrue on it? It never does. So it's $100 forever. Yeah. No interest. Okay. Until it's Minimum monthly payment until it's paid off. So we put that towards uh, Sally Mae next then. Sally May $500 is put towards it. And that's the end of month number two. We're making progress. Quick, man. Yeah. Quick, because you're actually taking control of your life for the first time in your mother's mm-hmm. life. So this is great. This is incredible. This is awesome for the first time ever. Cool. 2,000 hours left. Uh, oh, sorry. I read Sally Mae's $2,000, not $27,000. Never mind. Okay, yep, you threw the 500 towards the savior. Wonderful. So... Month number three, then. Month number three, we should be paying off the Savior card. Just about. A little hangover into month number mm-hmm. four. A yeah. little. A couple bucks. Cool. Month number four. Because the Sally Mae's insane. I'd love to pay off Grandpa, but because Sally Mae's insane. Uh, I had full intentions to pay him off. like Because uh, oh. this is going to make go me sound really here. bad. Uh, oh, well, no. Okay, it's it's something in which okay. and why I would want to pay off to Sally Mae before my grandfather as well. Yeah. He actually co-signed for me on that loan. So oh. it, the the debt is also in his name just as much as it is it at just as much as it is in mine. So. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Good call. $25,000 left at that time. Probably. We'll see. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So throwing... Um, do you know what I did wrong? No, I'm assuming something that's gonna. No, the situation has been going way too fast because for some reason I was throwing what your monthly budget is towards it, and oh, not the extra not the... thousand. Okay, so well, but that's okay because we can easily match. So, say that. it takes twice as so long, so it's as taking what twice as saying, long. Yeah, so we're headed into month number six, six now. Yeah. Well, no, 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 because we were headed into month number three, so it took two months. No, so well, four months. So we're yeah, ahead. eight. Because you had hangover from month number three into month number four for my oh, saver okay, one card. Fine. So I'll do quick math, one second. No, see, that's what I thought. You uh, four and a half months from now. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm calling that uh, a total of this being one month. This is going to be the half month. So four months from now. So we're going to be starting. Let's call this month one. It's going to take five months. We're starting month number six now. Okay. Month number six now. Month number six, we've taken care of Capital One, Discover, Savior, Best Buy, Amazon. Okay. So you'll have a little extra money left over, not too much. I mean, we have an extra couple hundred bucks we can start throwing towards things, $25,000. Divide that by, let's call it 1200 now. 
21 months. And that's where the don't around with your work, how to not be a rule applies here. You need to make more money. We're getting a second job if you can't get enough hours. You're doubling your income. Mm -hmm. It's really not a choice. I want this to be paid off in a year once you start it. Mm -hmm. Not two years. Okay. So that's what I need you to do. If not, now we're we're uh, two years and almost a quarter into this process, and we can finally pay Grandpa off. Yeah, unacceptable. Mm-hmm. I need you to get year and a half, year and a half. You're through all the credit cards and the affirms and Sally May. Year and a half, sacrificing everything, living with your family, not spending any money on fun. You can go have fun. It's free. Swim in the ocean. You're pretty close to it. That's super. Close. Actually, no, I'm not. You're pretty close beaches. compared to most people. Well, well Orlando Central, Florida. Uh, well, what is it like, like three hours? Uh, less, actually. Well, there I you go. You're close to an ocean. Not close at all, dude. I'm from the three, Midwest. You're close to the ocean. Wild. Oh my gosh, you're close to the ocean. It would have taken me twelve hours to get to the ocean where I'm from. Three hours now, but no one likes going to Galveston not uh, to swim. I don't because it's I gross. Tell you what Galveston is nasty. Never heard of it. Nasty water. Um, okay, I, that's what I want you to do is a year and a half. I want you to do it, or, or you can send this to two and a half years. That doesn't make sense, though. Mm-hmm. Stop um, with work. I would like to get it obviously done sooner rather than later. Um, so I agree with you on that front. Um, I do want to wait until after the winter to get a second job just because I know that this is a big opportunity for me to make a a lot of money. At no, work. that I don't, I don't think you heard what I said. If you can't get the money at your job, if you can't okay, get the hours so at your keeping... job, you get the second job. You work as much as you can at that okay, job. All right. You're picking up extra if you're not getting it. Okay. You're working. Well, how many hours a week are you going to work? Oh, five shifts. So anywhere. Okay. From... So go pick up two shifts somewhere else. Okay. You, you don't need to have a life right now, man. Okay. You really don't. You just broke up. You're taking a break anyway. So if you're hooking up with people, that's going to take like two hours of your time. Cool. Heard. Yeah. Great. So like just work. Mm-hmm. Work. Yeah. You may as well for your future. Yeah. It's worth it, man. I promise. I, again, tough, I was in worse debt than this. I that. was in worse debt than this. I sacrificed. I sacrificed hard. Mm-hmm. Life well before I started YouTube. Fantastic. Incredible. Yeah. Because I actually sacrificed and did what was necessary. Mm-hmm. Do that now. Yeah. And then pay your grandpa off. I would minimum monthly payment, the little med thing you took yeah. out until it's paid off. After that, you need to get a fully funded emergency fund of whatever your apartment, because you can move out at that time. We need to start thinking about careers too. Ah, sh- oh, there's, we could talk for another hour just on that. Um, um, I've done a lot of like career aptitude tests and like I've done like. I know, but then you just randomly go degrees. sign up for other bulls. I think, yeah, I'm, that's 100% correct. I don't disagree with that. I just feel like. I can't really see myself, not see myself doing anything because I know what I like to do. Like, I do like com- talking to people, communicating. I do like um, like presenting myself in a professional manner, yeah. in a social setting. Okay. The problem is, is that I can't see myself doing anything to where it's like... If you like talking to people, why do you think you're going to be bad in sales? I went through the whole, um, not the whole course careers things, but like halfway through, I kind of realized that there was a lot of aspects about the job that I'm not like, like... To come what to about work. sales in general outside of tech? Was it the tech component? Uh, no, it wasn't the tech component. It was the sales yeah. component. Like, I don't like the idea of having to, like, pester people and, like, go back, like, three, four, or five times to then sales is hopefully a grind. get sales, sales. Is, like, Yeah. It's it's, grind. I'm not afraid of, like, hard work. It's just that I don't want to inconvenience anybody by, like, being, mm. like, hey, I know I've talked to you four times, but here I am another week away talking to you a fifth time. You know what I mean? Like, that's not something in which I feel but comfortable doing. I will say this. And this is a light, but I mean, sometimes, I mean, yeah, you're right. You could get a job and you know, you're selling and that sucks, Mm -hmm. but you could get a job where you're actually selling something that is like helpful and good. Yeah. And if you're pestering and you actually make a sale on that, that could be something that's actually beneficial to that person. So Mm -hmm. it it doesn't all equal bad. Yeah. You're right. There are some that are. I just feel like that component is there whether okay. it's a good part well product see, or not I like thought- I, the way i see it is like so if i have something that benefits your life and i do genuinely feel like it'd make your company a better company mm-hmm. or i do feel like it it'd be positive addition to your life if you don't want it for yourself i don't want to feel like i'm f- like what about customer support i could do that like work work and customer uh maybe a certification customer service 
Mm-hmm. You know, like you don't need that to get an entry level customer service job. But what I would want you to get on is not a temporary customer service job. It's to get into the door in customer service and start making your way up. Yeah. Customer service manager. Start looking at something like that. If you're a people person, if you like working in the professional setting, if you like all that, mm-hmm. it screams that. If you like helping people, it screams that. Yeah. Customer service isn't the, you know, call center tech job for seven bucks an hour. Yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. So I'm talking maybe, maybe looking for a certification for that. Not that I want you to go get your millionth. Uh, <laughs> but that might be worth something considering. Yeah. I was going to say, go on a, you know, ah, bro. You need to think long and hard about that. What I need you to do, and you can do that while you're doing this, but what yeah. I need you to do now is take care of this debt for the first time in your life. Get a six-month emergency fund. Then you have nothing in retirement at 25. That's terrifying. You mm-hmm. need to start contributing 20% to retirement after you get a fully funded emergency fund and all bad debts are paid off. Yeah. Do that so you have a chance for future. Um, I will say that, um, the company I work for is opening some newer restaurants. So um, this new restaurant that I just like was a part of the opening team for, I was hoping to get full time out of it and it just didn't okay. work out that way. Um, yep. So there's going to be sometimes don't yeah, work out, another opportunity for me exactly. to get a full time position. I'm More actually like, come. like I'm trying to like study wines and stuff like that. And, um, <sighs> all right. Oh, we just knowledge. found another. Well, no, 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 it's not. Avenue, I'm, I'm already in the profession of serving. I so know. I could see myself what being a full time server. To do? You can see yourself doing it. There's an option, but you took all those other things. because they're an option. What do you want to do? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <sighs> okay. It's my. It's been my lifelong question since I've graduated high school. Well, you've discovered through cor- uh, career quizzes that maybe HR and stuff like that, but you mm-hmm. just don't want to do the college necessary. For yeah, it. that's exactly it. You've accumulated a lot of credit hours over the years, have you not? Um, there's like a good two or three semesters where I just gave up halfway through. So I'm, I'm like right at my AA in general studies. So... I would then need to transfer to a bachelor's degree and then do whatever prereqs are required there, which I mean for communications probably wouldn't be anything crazy. All right, man. That's something you're going to have to, you know, Figure take your out, own yeah. path on. You mm-hmm. need to think long and hard. Don't just jump at something though. Yeah. In any opportunity, especially when it costs money, don't just jump at something just because it's an option. No more of that. I thought I learned that lesson with the whole UCF cybersecurity thing. And then like the medical opportunity presented itself. And I was like, Boom. <laughs> That's what my identity is going to be for the next few months. And, and I'm ahead in the course, but it's just a matter of whether or not I well, want to pursue it as a career. It's good when you... Because I want you to get in the career path so you can start investing mm-hmm. as well. Because, I mean, that's that's the scary part. Is Because right now you have nothing. And you're losing the best decade of, gro- you know, compound growth. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's not complicated either. Like, man, you take your 401k... You do like a Roth IRA, and once you've maxed out all, all that stuff out, if you don't even want to think about it, you can just like throw money at Vora. Mm-hmm. You know, I've started putting money in there, and I get a one percent match after yeah. a couple years of vesting. It's it's good stuff, man. Yeah. It's good stuff, and I need you to take advantage of that. But there's so many steps we have to do first. So focus on the now. Yeah. Focus on the now. The now. Get out of debt. Get a fully funded emergency fund. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Any questions? Any final thoughts? No, uh, no questions. I guess I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. Um, it's been a first of many for me to come here. Like it's the first time traveling by myself wow. with no other like partners or siblings or anything like that. Um, so that was like a new experience. This is the first time I've ever like exposed to like a camera or film. So it's also a pretty cool experience. And um, I do genuinely want to fix my predicament. So that's probably like the biggest thank you. For spending in a budget, I mean, come on, 60% going to bullshit when barely anyone's going towards debt. That's a zero out of 10, hard, strict, right there. Debt, as bad as you can get without collections or IRS debt, so one out of 10. Emergency fund, there's nothing, zero out of 10. Retirement savings, there's nothing, zero out of 10. Real estate, there's nothing, zero out of 10. So that's going to be a hammer financial score, zero out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below, like the budgeting course and other resources that I personally use or would use in specific situations. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calopammer.com.